When Las Casas the priest reached Cuba in 1511 and witnessed the pacification of those people, he turned on the whole sorry scene and devoted the rest of his life to protecting the American Indians. To do so, Las Casas suggested to King Charles's counselors that a license be issued to import Negro slaves directly from Spain or Africa to the islands. Later on, he reflected on this. This suggestion to issue a license to bring Negro slaves to the Indies was first made by the cleric Casas, he frequently wrote of himself in the third person, not seeing how unjust the Portuguese were in taking slaves on the coast of Africa. Later on, he realized how unjustly and tyrannically Africans were taken slaves in the same fashion as Indians. And in old age, he turned on the slave trade and slavery itself. Since then, he has been held accountable by some for a monstrous error, suggesting that Africans be imported into the islands to relieve the oppression on the Indians and supply Spaniards with labor. He was thus the initiator of the nefarious African slave trade, one of the cruelest and most heartless businesses in the history of humankind. Nothing could be further from the truth. This essay puts what Las Casas said and did into the context of his times, and more specifically into the context of his life. By doing so, it brings new insight into the beginnings of the African slave trade, the Americas, and directly into the search for true justice and liberty in the conquest of the Americas.